Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day. Little bit on the windy side, but other than that, an over the top beautiful day here in the end times. It is a Sunday morning, uh, September 8th, 2024, and I have a lot to do, but everything that I need to do today <clears throat> is contingent upon meeting up with people <coughs> who are not available to meet up with on Sunday. Mainly my Amish buddies. So uh, I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs on this gorgeous day. And uh, so uh, I just finished uh, my latest broken record tranny rant. Uh, which you can find elsewhere uh, on here. But now I'm going to go from trannies to pit bulls. And more than pit bulls uh, it is my rant about some of the biggest clueless fucking morons on the planet, uh, which are pit bull owners that any clueless fucking moron particularly a, 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 any clueless fucking moron uh, who has a, uh, another dog uh, in the house, a cat, or uh, a child, a, any breeder. <clears throat> and and that, that's a whole other clueless moron rant. But, but anyone, uh, I, I, I guess anyone who is clueless enough to bring a child onto this planet, uh, you, you know, they've already lost their mind, but uh, setting that aside, any parent who would bring a pit bull into a home where they have children or have chil or bring children into a house that has a pit bull uh, they are they they are every bit as as clueless as anybody who would vote for Donald Trump. So I basically put pit bull owners and Donald Trump uh, voters in the same basket of deplorables. It you know if if you as you will see here if if you literally spend not five minutes, but now that we have AI, <clears throat> if you spend five seconds of research <clears throat> and you make the decision to bring a pit bull uh, in, in, into your own life, uh, the life of your existing dog or children, you get every single thing that you deserve for making uh, for making this blunder. Uh, so here is the latest my my rant as I say uh, more about clueless fucking moron pit bull owners than the pit bulls themselves as Don Juan would say in this case you cannot get mad at a pit bull for acting like a pit bull is what Don Juan would say anybody who gets mad at pit bulls for acting like pit bulls. Pit bulls are killing machines. That is what they were designed to do is to kill. Okay? And so in a pit, when, a, when something that has bred into their genetic hardwiring, their number one genetic hardwiring is to kill. You can't be surprised when they do exactly what they were bred to do. So anyway, this is just the latest story, and there seems to be a whole rash of them. <clears throat> but I like this one because it talks as much about clueless moron pit bull owners as pit bulls. <clears throat> Take it away. Off of this morning's uh, Yahoo News, pit bull supporters, pit bull supporters 
say deadly attack on girl and Visalia was quote an anomaly. Yes. <clears throat> the four-year-old victim of a deadly dog attack in Visalia has been identified as Zoe Hawkins according to the family. Visalia police say the little girl was attacked by their family pit bull just after 8 p.m. Wednesday night. This is the police spokesperson, quote, the four-year-old had just finished swimming and was inside her home when the incident occurred, despite immediate medical attention and being transported to the hospital, she sadly passed away. He said, uh, this police spokesperson uh, <clears throat> said that police detectives discovered no signs of neglect or criminal activity at the home where officers responded. They say it was just an unexpected and devastating incident, said the cop, quote, it was the family dog and it did not have any violent behavior or any violent attacks prior to this. The dog was euthanized at the request of Zoe's family. So now they have a dead kid and a dead dog. Now the only thing, the only detail I don't have in this story is who came first, the pit bull or Zoe? I don't, you see what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know whether Zoe came in to the pit bull's territory four years ago, but anyway, probably doesn't make that much of a difference. Police did not elaborate on what exactly led up to the incident, but the Fresno Bully Rescue, so the, the new uh, cute name for pit bulls, have you noticed recently, more and more they're being called bullies. I, I, I guess that this is supposed to make them uh, calling a pit bull a bully is some sort of, uh, I don't know, propaganda effort uh, to, to make their, their killing machines uh, look, look you, you, you know, like Sancho Panza. But anyway, <clears throat> police did not elaborate on what exactly led up to the incident, but the Fresno Bully Rescue which specializes in finding homes for pit bulls and other bully breeds, says without the facts, no blame, no blame can be put on the family. No blame can be put on the family. These parents who now have a dead four-year-old girl and a dead bully uh, on their hands are completely blameless in, 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 in this situation. Will I say these parents deserve uh, having, uh, well they certainly deserve having a dead dog, as much of an anti-natalist as I am, you know, I, I, I'm not a total monster. Do these parents deserve uh, having a dead four-year-old on their blood-soaked hands for mixing a four-year-old little girl and, and, and a notorious killing machine? Uh, the, the, these parents... Uh, have every bit as is, 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 is much access to the information on pit bulls as I or anyone else does. Now, if one of them 
had been killed by the family pit bull trying to protect their four-year-old from get, get, getting attacked, then I, I, I would, this would be, you know, I would be cheering it on. Uh, whichever one or both of these parents, if they had been killed by their family pit bull trying to protect their four-year-old a defenseless little child uh, against the family dog. Uh, you, you're goddamn straight. Uh, I, I would be cheering on the fucking pit bull. Okay, I absolutely love stories, uh, particularly when 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 it's the, these fucking assholes breeding these dogs uh, when they get killed. Uh, by their own dogs. Uh, so do the parents deserve the death of their child? I, 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 I'm going to stop about one inch before that. But I will say uh, my, my, I, I can only have so much sympathy uh, for somebody that fucking clueless. Okay. Uh, so this is Becky Holly, a Becky Holly, a clueless fucking moron member of the board of directors for the Fresno Bully Rescue. She claims the, the, you know, the attack and death of this four-year-old child is just one painful example of why dog owners, why dog owners should always watch their dog around any small child. Quote, it absolutely can happen with any dog and any young child said this clueless fucking bitch. Family dog. You love the dog. It's there all the time. You assume it's safe, but it is still a dog. So I think supervision around young children is incredibly important. Close quote. Uh... Under the Visalia Police Facebook post announcing the fatal attack, many comments from people with brains can be seen criticizing both pit bulls and those who own them. Holly says pit bulls are not any more dangerous than any other dog. Quoting the clueless fucking bitch. This is an anomaly. It is not the rule. These dogs are strong. They're not for everyone. Yeah, like anybody with a small child or another dog or a cat in the house. And I suggest training for everyone. But any large dog, even a medium-sized dog, is capable of doing some damage to a four-year-old child or any small child. Close quote. Uh, and then they actually link you to the Fresno Bully Rescue website. All right. We have the Bully Boo Walk 2024. Uh, isn't that cute? The Bully Boo Walk. Dress your pit bull uh, 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 up like a fucking uh, Frankenstein monster. So, uh... What is the... 
Fresno Bully Rescue Society, and this probably sounds like, like any one of these other horse shit ones. I was reading this article just a couple of weeks ago uh, about a 40-year-old man who, uh, who got one of these dogs. He, he got one of these dogs uh, from one of these fucking bully rescue societies. He, he's had the dog for a few weeks. His buddy comes over to the house uh, with his dog. You, you know, the dog that's been coming over to the house for years. Uh, the, the guy walks in with the dog, with his dog, and of course the fucking bully from the bully rescue attacks his buddy's dog and in the process of the two guys trying to break up the fight the the rescued bully drops the other dog turns around and kills the guy who rescued him if you want to know uh, how, how good of a job so what is the welcome statement. The Fresno Bully Rescue is a volunteer-based, non-profit, no-kill rescue and shelter dedicated to rescuing bully bee breed dogs, including American Pit Bull Terriers, they call them Terriers, American Staffordshire Terriers, American Bulldogs, Bull Terriers, etc. We are here to provide a healthy and loving temporary home while we look for forever homes for our shelter dogs. Yes. Anyway, uh, I, I, j j just fuck these people. And, uh,. So, uh, of course, you can, uh, you, 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 you know, I've given up leaving the comment uh, on, uh, on every one of these Pitbull stories that uh, when, whenever I leave a comment that every motherfucking Pitbull uh, on this planet needs to have a goddamn bullet uh, lodged through their fucking head. Uh, obviously, the Yahoo community takes that one uh, down. Uh, well, maybe my comment, why would my comment have been taken down? So anyway, it looks like my comment uh, ha has been taken down. Oh, here we go. It's just a lot more comments. Uh, so anyway, what I did was, <clears throat> unlike the reporter of this story, I go online, and and, and I, I didn't need to spend five minutes because of of AI. It took me five seconds to Google what percentage of fatal dog attacks in the U.S. were from pit bulls and well bullies you, you know we all know the kind of fucking dog we're talking about uh it did not take five minutes it took five seconds and this was my comment which uh was uh unbelievably not taken down five seconds of research this reporter neglected to do quote Pit bulls and pit bull mixes account for nearly 60% of all dog attack fatalities despite making up only 6% of the dog population. And then uh, there, there, there's all the, you, you know, research to back this up. Uh, I've had this rant, uh, this broken record rant. How many times? What the fuck are there? There's 115 breeds of dogs. 115 breeds of dogs out there. 
in one breed unless you well you 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 know uh, you you can kind of play semantics here, but the 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 bully breeds. We all know the fucking dog we're talking about here. Six percent of the population of dogs. Sixty percent of the population of fatal attacks. And then I added to that, uh, and this is only human fatalities, my guess is the figure for fatal attacks against other dogs, not to mention cats, would be even higher. There is a reason I have a no pit bulls, no exceptions rule at my vacation rental business and you should hear the fucking comments I, I get from these clueless fucking morons uh, when uh, they read my dog policy and, and I say uh, 114 breeds of dogs are welcome at Bugs in a Jar Farm uh, here is Bob people who endorse owning pit bulls are willfully obtuse about the facts concerning them. These dogs are inherently savage, vicious, and unpredictable. Owning, breeding, or selling them should be illegal. Bob has 20 thumbs up uh, to the comment and three thumbs down. Uh, it, obviously, Bob agrees with me that every motherfucking pit bull on this planet should be uh, get, get, get a fucking bullet through its head. Uh, and we can start at the dog pounds, where 6% uh, of the general dog population uh, I would say uh, just dog pound after dog pound. Uh, I can only speak for the Austin, Texas dog pound where 85%, 85% of the dogs when uh, I was working with the Austin uh, dog pound years ago, 85% of the dogs in the Austin, Texas uh, shelter what were, were some version of pit bulls. 85% of them, basically one breed, uh, the other 15%, the other 114 breeds, and pretty much uh, the same can be said at the St. Croix Animal Shelter, where I got Sancho. I would say 85% of those dogs being surrendered to shelters. Fucking pit bulls. Here is Robert. How is it that we never hear about a golden retriever or a Labrador attacking and killing a child? Anyway. If you choose to own a representative of this breed, you are doing so at, you, at your own risk and must take full responsibility or full blame for any such results and not attempt to sugarcoat it by calling this an anomaly. Because, Holly, it is not an anomaly. And then here's somebody else who went over to chat GB, you know, to AI, and uh, in, in five seconds it got the, the, you know, the same information I did. Uh, here is they have been they have been bred genetically and have particular traits there is a reason not to have a pit bull 
most insurance companies will not insure people who own them. You are on your own if your cute little pity bites or kills someone and the owners should be legally liable. Anyway, uh, on and on. Uh, here is pit bulls are an anomaly the same as Russian roulette is a an anomaly. How about donating to this family? You know their GoFundMe is completely laughable. Here is, and this is why I am a childless cat lady. Now, how did this damn, uh, this is Professor Hambone. There is a Professor Hambone. So every time I talk about, every time that Humpty Dumpty talks about killing every fucking pit bull on this planet. And here is Professor Hambone. I think that all pit bulls should be wiped out. Almost every week you see on the news these dogs kill people. So why does anybody want to keep these vicious dogs around? Professor Hambone. Thank you, Professor Hambone. Agreeing with Humpty Dumpty, I think that all pit bulls should be wiped out. They are a shit stain on the dog world and on the planet. Do you agree, Sancho Panza? Do you agree that every pit bull uh, on this planet should be wiped out? I think that would be a good start. Anyway, enough ranting about these goddamn pit bulls. They, you know, ranting about some clueless fucking moron uh, getting a pit bull. It is 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 as pointless as fucking ranting uh, about someone as clueless as voting for Donald Trump. Anyway, I'm gonna get out there and enjoy my little dog before he gets killed by a pit bull. Fuck pit bulls and everybody who owns them. Bye guys.